A woman suspected of being an assassin sent by Kim Jong-un to kill his half-brother has been arrested at the Malaysia airport where the murder happened. Police in Malaysia are examining footage from Kuala Lumpur International Airport to try to determine what happened during the Cold War-style poison attack on Kim Jong-nam on Monday morning. Grainy pictures purportedly show their main suspect, a woman in a white shirt with LOL printed on the front standing at the terminal waiting for a taxi. This morning Malaysian police arrested a woman with a Vietnamese passport in the name of Don Thi Huang born on May 31, 1988. Deputy Police Inspector General Rashid Ibrahim said the woman, from Nam Din province, was alone, adding, it is her. We recognized her from the footage and picked her up. Earlier reports suggested Jung Nam was targeted by two suspected female North Korean operatives who apparently attacked him from behind with poison spray. The 46-year-old, who had branded his younger brother's regime a joke, was allegedly poisoned while waiting for a flight and died on his way to hospital. There were claims he had been attacked by two women suspected North Korean agents who sprayed a toxic chemical in his face. The assassination, which came as North Korea readied to celebrate the birthday this week of the two men's father, illustrates the brutal and inhumane nature of the Pyongyang regime led by Kim Jong-un, Seoul said. The head of the NIS, the South Korean equivalent of the CIA, told Parliament today that North Korea had been plotting to kill Kim since at least 2012 and that Kim Jong-un was paranoid about his half-brother. He said, after Kim Jong-un came to power, he gave a standing order that Kim Jong-nam had to be taken care of, at all costs. Some reports have suggested the assassins held a cloth doused in chemicals in his face and burned his eyes, or stabbed him with a poisoned needle. U.S. sources said a fountain pen may have been used to spray the poison. This morning it was reported that the taxi driver who transported the women away from the airport has been arrested. He is said to have told police that one of the women was Vietnamese. The mystery woman captured on CCTV, with shoulder-length hair, was heavily made up, wearing a handbag with a long strap over her left shoulder. The image, released by the Malay Mail is believed to have been taken outside a secondary terminal at Kuala Lumpur International Airport from which regional flights come and go. The apparent hit follows previous botched attempts to kill Jong Nam, 45 who was estranged from his 33-year-old brother and regarded as a potential threat to his leadership. It also comes days after international condemnation of North Korea's latest missile test. The agents are said to have attacked Jong Nam on Monday after taking advantage of a security loophole between his bodyguards and local police, which left him momentarily unguarded at Kuala Lumpur Airport. The deceased, felt like someone grabbed or held his face from behind, he felt dizzy. Malaysian police official Fadzil Amit said. So far there are no suspects, but we have started investigations and are looking at a few possibilities to get leads. He said a post-mortem examination would be carried out, adding, we don't know if there was a cloth or needles. North Korean government officials are said to have demanded the body, but Malaysian police say a local post-mortem examination must be carried out first. There is heavy security at Putrajaya Hospital today where witnesses say they saw a mortuary vehicle being escorted by up to four police cars just before 9 a.m. today. More than a hundred journalists outside have been denied access and are having their questions ignored, it has been reported. However, it has been confirmed that the body is going to be moved for autopsy, which will take place in heavy security at the large hospital Kuala Lumpur, HKL. An unnamed hospital staff member at Putrajaya is quoted as saying, specialists said that Putrajaya Hospital is not adapted for an autopsy and that Kim Jong-nam's body is being moved to HKL, which is more spacious and has better facilities. Witnesses said they saw three vehicles from the North Korean embassy at HKL. Local police chief Abu Samamat said Jong-nam went to the airport clinic complaining that he had been sprayed with a liquid and died on his way to Putrajaya Hospital south of the capital. In Pyongyang, celebrations had begun for Thursday's anniversary of the birth of Kim Jong-il, Jong-nam's father, with no mention of the killing. Around 3,000 uniformed government officials and women in traditional dresses gathered for an ice skating gala featuring North Korean and foreign skaters. Banners proclaiming peace, independence and friendship hung in the venue. 
would-be North Korean assassins have been caught with poisoned needles in the past which can be hidden inside pens and an anonymous U.S. official said a similar device could not be ruled out. South Korea's foreign ministry could not confirm the allegations last night, and several previous reports of executions involving supposed enemies of the North Korean state have proved unreliable. Jung Nam was the eldest son of former leader Kim Jong Il from his affair with South Korean born actress Song Hye Rim. He was once seen as heir apparent but fell out of favor after an embarrassing failed attempt in 2001 to visit Tokyo Disneyland on a forged passport. Jung Nam has since lived in virtual exile, mainly in the Chinese territory of Macau, as well as Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, and France. Malaysia is one of the only countries North Koreans can visit without a visa although Jung Nam was using a passport with a false name for the flight back to Macau. A Malaysian police statement confirmed the death of a 46-year-old North Korean man whom it identified from his travel document as Kim Cole, born in Pyongyang. Investigation is in progress and a post-mortem examination request has been made to ascertain the cause of death, the statement said. Ken Goss at the CNA think tank in Washington who has studied North Korea's leadership for 30 years, said Kim Cole was a name that Kim Jong-nam has traveled under. He is believed to have been born May 10, 1971, although birthdays are always unclear for senior North Koreans, Gauss said. It was claimed Jong-nam funded a lavish lifestyle thanks to benefits from building projects set up by his uncle Jang song thaek who has since been executed by the regime. After Jung Nam's brother became North Korean leader following the death of their father in December 2011, the exile told a Japanese newspaper that the new regime was a joke to the outside world. He added, the Kim Jong-un regime will not last long. Without reforms, North Korea will collapse. He also claimed he opposed the hereditary transition of power. Chong Song Jang, a researcher at Seoul Sejong Institute think tank, said it was possible Jung Nam had been assassinated for damaging his brother's authority. He added that the Reconnaissance General Bureau, North Korea's intelligence agency, had been closely watching Jung Nam. K.O.H. Yuan, a North Korea expert at Dongguk University in Seoul, said Jung Nam had occasionally been the subject of speculation that he could replace his brother. Loyalists may have wanted to get rid of him, he added. North Korean spies reportedly attempted to kill Jung Nam in Macau in 2011, resulting in a bloody shootout with his bodyguards. Kim's killing is thought to be the highest profile death under the Jung Un regime since the execution of the leader's uncle, Jang Song Thaek, in December 2013. Jung Un has been trying to strengthen his grip on power in the face of growing international pressure over his country's nuclear and missile programs and regular reports have emerged on purges and executions. Jung Nam, known as an advocate of reform in the North, once told Japanese reporters that he opposed his country's dynastic system. In a 2012 interview from his school in Bosnia, a 17-year-old Kim Han Sol, Jung Nam's son, said his father had been passed over for succession because he was not really interested in politics. I don't really know why he became a dictator. Kim said of his uncle Kim Jong-un it was between him and my grandfather. It emerged Wednesday that Jong-nam had pleaded with his younger brother for his life to be spared after an earlier assassination attempt. Jong-nam in April 2012 sent a letter to Jong-un saying please spare me and my family, Kim Byung-ki, a member of the Parliamentary Intelligence Committee, told reporters. It also said we have nowhere to go, we know that the only way to escape is suicide, he said, after a closed-door briefing by Seoul's spy chief. Chong Song Chung of the Independent Sejong Institute in Seoul said the assassination was unthinkable without a direct order or approval from Kim Jong-un himself. His killing was likely motivated by a recent news report that Kim Jong-nam had sought to defect to the EU, the US or South Korea as far back as in 2012, he said. Mark Tokola Vice President of the Korea Economic Institute in Washington and a former Deputy Chief of Mission at the U.S. Embassy in Seoul, said it would be surprising if Kim Jong-nam was not killed on the orders of his brother, given that North Korean agents have reportedly tried to assassinate Kim Jong-nam in the past.
it seems probable that the motivation for the murder was a continuing sense of paranoia on the part of Kim Jong-un, Tokola wrote in a commentary Tuesday. Although there was scant evidence that Kim Jong-nam was plotting against the North Korean leader, he provided an alternative for North Koreans who would want to depose his brother.